mission is simple. Education in action, conservation in action. This is Camp Kennedy. Alright, so we pick back up guys. Um, Slinky has gone into the water. Still no movement out of her, but Slinky is starting to do the head bobbing. Um, so I want to see him uh, come back out of the water and how he reacts to her. She's just laying there, very receptive. If he figures out what he wants to do, I don't think she's going to give him much of a problem. Um, I think if there were going to be any kind of aggression, we would have seen it within the first five minutes. We've been in here for about, a gosh, seems like a half an hour in real time. Um, but let's see how he reacts on this next pass. And pay attention to his head. If he starts to do these jerky movements with his head, that's how you know that we're going to start to see the beginning of the courtship ritual in the monitor. Maybe he's just cleaning up, taking a little bath before he gets in there. Well, he just wants to look presentable. He was looking a little dusty, but here we go. God, it's so incredible, man. I mean, it's just like a window back in the past, just seeing how these animals behave. Nonverbal communication. There's no vocalizations at all. There it is, guys. Look at this. That's what I was hoping uh, he would show you. This is incredible stuff, guys. Look at this. He's really getting more and more interested. He's trying to get her to move, I think. And there are those head movements. Yeah, he wants her to move. Now I'm in a bad situation. Oh. That's oh. not what he wanted. That's not what he wanted. He doesn't want her in that hole, I can tell you that. He's got to be annoyed because he got worked up probably, right? He did get worked up. So that's super annoying. So this actually could frustrate him and that's annoying. I should have filled that in actually. Well, she's going to bolt out of there, I think. So you don't freak out, Tom, when this lizard comes running out of the hole, okay? <laughs> but. What yeah. we saw there and what we're seeing now are those, those jerky head mo uh, motions. Uh, that's definitely interest. That's the precursor to him trying to copulate with the female. Um, very, very cool. Now, how far does that thing go? Oh my gosh, it can only really go to these pilings. So I just don't want her to be backed into that corner. I hope he doesn't try to grab her. I know. Hopefully she'll just swing it back around and get out of there. But you notice he is being gentle. Um, again, guys, these bodies, these reptilian bodies that they possess are built so tough. That skin is really tough. Um, so he's not doing really vicious clawing right now. It's still gentle, um, but he's gonna need, he's trying to get her, yeah, see this? Here she goes. She's trying to figure it out. Now, now I'm a little nervous. Now I'm just stressed because this was not a situation we wanted to have happen. Um, Gosh, I should have filled that, that in. I didn't even think about that, that little cave. Um, goodness. But let's see if, if he can get her out of there. One thing I don't want to do is put my hands anywhere near them right now while, they're, while he's more intent on breathing. Okay, here we go. Come on, baby girl. Get us. He's trying to just actually take her head and pull it out. I mean, this is incredible. Yeah, he's trying to pull her out. Really great video that I had seen on Tom Crutchfield's um, Facebook page of a tree monitor that actually used its claw. It couldn't stick its head through the hole, 
but it was able to stick its claws through the little front claws and it actually grabbed the prey item and pulled it in to the bark where it was hiding and ate it. So there's definitely some, uh, you know, I hate to sound like, again, Jurassic Park, but they have problem solving abilities in some way and you talk to researchers who study these animals who study monitors and they'll tell you that they are the most mammalian of the reptiles in the way that they behave with intelligence that's pretty cool i really want this female to get out of there so funny, you mentioned the cave, and then where does she go? <laughs> I was gonna say, right you into made the cave. fun of me for mentioning the cave. Yeah, not too bright of me. Shucks. But the cool thing is, is that he hasn't gotten frustrated and bit her or did anything that I feel is too aggressive. Um, it's still a pretty gentle uh, sense, but you see now she's she's starting to guard her cloaca. He's sniffing the cloaca there. all closed mouth nudges, which is great. Mm, I wonder if I should pull her out. Yeah, those claws on her. Yeah, but he's not like I was mentioning, the skin's tough. That those are gentle moves. He's he's just gently trying to coax her out. This is cool. Oh yeah, yeah, real cool. <laughs> Stressful. Yeah. Oh, see, yeah. that was too loud. What I might be able to do. Oh, look at that. He almost had her out. See, Slinky, you made that cave. You started the trouble. It's Slinky's fault here. If you would stop digging, this would never have happened. It seems like there'd be a chance he gets frustrated enough where he's like, let me just grab her with my mouth. And right, pull her. That's, that's what I don't want to have happen. You know, because that would just be unnecessary. Slinky, it's me. See how he, he's now worried because I'm towering over him. Hi, Slinky. Hi, Slinky. Do you think I can move you? Would you mind if I moved you? Yeah. I'm gonna try and, where's her head? Okay, here's her head. Hold on, she might actually walk out of there if we give her a moment. The last thing I wanna do is put my hand into that. Yeah, and then right. Get bit. Oh, look, look, look. Look where she is. She's gonna come out right there. But she might be supple enough to kind of go out through there. I could open this door. Give her space. Give her space and then put her back in. I feel like she could push that outside door though, no? No, the outside door is pretty good. Oh, the stress levels. I mean, it's not really that stressful, it's just, you know, I don't want anything to really happen to her. Keep going, Slinks. Here we go. Here we go. gonna make a run for it, right? I don't know. He's pushing, pushing. her now. He's giving her Here nudges. She Here she goes. Here she goes. Oh, she's going back. She doesn't want to be, she likes the protection. I think that's what she's trying to do. She's no dummy. I think she's gonna come your way. Oh, here she goes, here she goes. I think it might be me standing here as well. Mm -hmm. So what if I were to move back? See, everything I'm doing is super calm right now. <laughs> Don't want to take a tag. But okay, now, now we're gonna have, like, just have had enough of this nonsense and she's gonna move. But again, he's not being aggressive in his He's being persistent. I think persistency always works. You know? So is that how you operate? Well, uh, this also could turn into a little bit of Kenan's dating tips. Persistency is one thing. Aggressiveness, turn off. Okay. 
I think the best thing to do here, just because I, I think now it's to the point where he's getting a little frustrated, I'm gonna try and pull him back and pull her out, okay? Because, oh, yeah, there's, that, that's it. Oh, boy. There it is, that's okay. That's okay, he just, that's what I didn't want to have happen. But you see that, guys? He used his mouth to pull her out. Uh, now I'm in a bad spot. He used his mouth to pull her out. His head is going nuts. Yeah, it is. He's really in the mood for love. And now I'm stuck in here. She wants to go back in the other enclosure, but that's not going to happen. Um, so this is now a bummer of a situation for me. Oh, brother. Never a dull moment. He actually used his mouth, and he did it, and it was not a very violent way. He just grabbed her and pulled her out. He had enough. Oh, brother. I want to move my leg. They're about to get it on, aren't they? Yeah, right near my leg. What I'm going to do is stand near this hole. I'll fill that in momentarily. Here we go. Now she is hissing, but wow, pretty cool, huh? We got a lot of cool stuff going on here. Um, he's he's no longer using his mouth open. He just literally had enough and pulled her right out. Um, didn't break the skin, which is good. He's just interested in breeding. Can't blame him. She's pretty. That pinky sure is cute. Will it be obvious? Will oh, know? it will be obvious. <laughs> yeah, you'll know what's going on here. We're getting there. He's got to catch her in a good position. All right, she's gonna try and walk out. This could be it. Here we go. So she couldn't get away if she wanted to right now. Um, she might be able to, he's in an awkward position. He's trying to pin her so he can position his cloaca next to hers, which is difficult. I mean, she's a smaller lizard, so he may have to nip the back of her neck to hold onto her uh, or use those powerful front limbs um, and give her kind of a big monitor hug. Well, I have to hold this oh, door. Okay. okay, I got it. Okay. And she's just kind of positioning herself. She's not in a great area because he can't really get her to lift her tail up. Right, that's the only way. Her tail has, it has to, to Yeah, and his hips will go underneath her cloaca. Um, Let's see what happens. I want her to keep going to the left. Good. She keeps going that way, up and over the... Man, this is, this is turning out to be quite the saga of Pinky and Slinky. We've got full memory cards. We almost had a heart attack because the card filled up, but luckily we were able to delete some old footage that we didn't need any longer. But as you can see, this is definitely lizard love. Um, he's trying to position himself still. Nothing happens quickly with these guys. Quite the uh, saga here. It is a saga, man. man. He's close. Man, he's close, all right. Look, he's gonna lift her tail up. He's trying to grab her tail. Super frustrating. 
Is she feeling trapped? Because we're both blocking her. Yeah, we're both kind of blocking her, but there's, you know. For me, that's better. She's not going to bolt. Yeah. I'm just glad it's, it's, uh, that he's like in this mode rather than an aggressive mode. So that's cool. And it's funny, right when I said, I think I'm going to pull him up, he must have heard me. He's like, you're not taking her. And he just did it himself. So, and he did it very nicely. Gosh, I just hate that they're out here and not, uh, that cave really screwed us up. Frustrates me. Right, it would have happened already. It would have been yeah. not in the puddle and... Right, it's annoying. Um, I still want to get them in, to be honest. I just don't like that it's happening out here. But... Yeah, he's in the zone right now. He's oh, in, he's in the... One thing. Yeah, he is in the zone. See, that back that leg, leg. Yeah. yeah. All right, hold on. We'll pause for a second. Oh, God. Don't run out now. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. I am going to stuff the hole with some block. Good, this has distracted him enough. I'm helping you out, Slinks. This is actually gonna be a benefit, trust me. Your silly little cave ain't working. All right, so this at least will stop that route. Now I can get her back in here. See if I can gently get her in there. Come on. I'm gonna put her right in there. Now we're gonna shut this door. Okay. See, and it all starts anew. New playing field. New playing field. Let's see how it goes here. I just I didn't think that was a nice place for a couple to be consummating. She does just the very stoic, I'm not moving situation. It's, uh, it must be frustrating, but it is what it is. It's so robotic, that head down. Yeah, that's robot. what's... It's like a strobe light almost. It's yeah, bizarre, yeah. It's an incredible type of movement, you know? It's okay, baby. It's okay, baby. I'm going to go ahead and just bring her over. We'll just put her under here, this way. Everyone's happy. Yeah, now she can move a little bit. She doesn't feel trapped. He's going after her. That's fine. Oh, God, not another hole. Not another hole. <laughs> what the heck is going I on? I knew I should have braked everything clear. But anyway. Here they go. She's hissing at him, but he's not taking no for an answer. If she drops in that hole, it's over again. No, no, that hole doesn't go far. It's not a cave, it's just a depression. Right, but he won't be able to get under. Maybe not, but I think she's going to move out. Um, by the way, if you hear a grunting noise, that's not him. That's actually the cherry heads breeding just on the other side of the wall. <laughs> There's no vocalizations here. It's all head movement, visual communication. And it's so weird, yeah, you see that? It's so rhythmic. I mean, it's okay. That's just, that's normal. They're gonna, he's gonna pinch behind the, the neck. 
Wow. I don't like that he's grabbed. You got it. He's he's had it. He won. No. Yeah. He. It's just getting closer to breeding. I mean, that's still. That's not a. That's normal. Now, what you guys see is, if that were on a human being, that would hurt. But that's just him trying to get her into position. You know. It's a good angle for us to get a good shot of this. And no. The crazy thing is, is she is actually in the past bred with the giant male that Kyle just got. So this is <clears throat> kind of status quo, large monitors, red tail hawk, uh, large monitors, you know, this is an adult female water monitor. They will grow a little larger, but they never reach the size of the adult males. Always this much work? Uh, I haven't seen enough breedings live, like witnessed enough breedings live to know if it is. Um, but what will happen is, here we go, it's definitely getting closer. Just so you know, that is not the monitors. That's actually a red-tailed hawk. So there's, again, no vocalizations here. <laughs> Shut up! I mean, what's he, how is he supposed to do it? Well, he her, her tail up. Oh, her, he's grabbing her again. By he's the grabbing neck. her again. It's okay. He's not shaking. This is okay. She will lift one side of her tail. She'll just give up and say, hey. "Pretty much." All right. He's trying to get her to move. All right. Well, maybe that's enough for today. Oh. I mean, get, that's not bad. I'm, I'm seriously. I'm just. That's not bad. I just don't want him to shake too much. Little neck bites are normal. If she were in pain, she would be scurrying to get away. She's not. She knows what to do. This is all normal. Don't go biting her head, you dingling. All right, buddy. That's enough. That's enough for today. That's all she wrote for me. We're gonna go ahead and let her back into her enclosure. Enough of that. Oh. Be good. 
All right. Well, whew, definitely an interesting afternoon. Um, it was just getting a little too more, too much intense, too intense for me. Uh, but you can see there's no blood. Okay, so she's okay. She's a little dirty, but uh, she's calmed down. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to bring her back in and we'll try again soon. And I'll be sure to let you guys know how it all works out on my Instagram. So go to Camp Kennan uh, on my Instagram and follow along there as well. Maybe we'll do a bonus video. But okay, that's enough of this. Slinky, take her on another date. She's a two gun a date girl. All right, man. We'll see you guys later. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the videos and head on over to patreon.com slash camp Kennan to get some more content. You all right, baby? Let's get her out here and cleaned up.